foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash berlinexplorer. So welcome to 50 minutes of experience and today I, I'm with Andre Belev uh, from Russia actually, but born in Kazakhstan and uh, welcome Andre. Thank you, welcome. Uh, hello everyone. So uh... Today, as you know, we talk about uh, experience, not only in photography, but uh, true photography as a, a tool of connection in this case, or a tool to uh, reveal some uh, uh, part also of ourselves. And uh, the podcast is focused on uh, uh, especially what uh, uh, we, what the photographer is doing uh, uh, behind the camera and not uh, mm -hmm. only what show and uh, what is showing uh, how many experience he accumulate uh, during the time. And this morning I was thinking about that also because I was watching back to my archive of 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, okay, wow, how many stuff I did. Uh, <laughs> and today I wanna I wanna know how many stuff you did. But before to doing that, I would love to, if you can introduce a bit of yourself. Uh, how old are you? You know what you do in your life, uh, and how do you get in touch with photography? Yeah, of course. Uh, my name is Andre. Um, I live in Saint Petersburg. It's a great, beautiful city, uh, which uh, I think uh, demand you to. Uh, filming uh, it uh, and um, I work in coffee industry uh, and uh, me and some other guys we have some places in town uh, one cafe one coffee shop and I'm working with coffee for five years now it's my one of my desires uh, besides the photography uh and uh, i cinephile mm, i like movies i watched it from the young childhood all the time and uh, it's uh, continuing till now uh I'm, and i think that this love for cinematography uh is um, um something that uh, teach me something uh, about the visualization and uh, how to see the world maybe and uh, for example i don't um, i don't know many things about great photographers but i know plenty of stuff about the directors of cinematography in movies and uh, I think they are the most um, inspiring uh, people for me because uh, uh, I understand that it's a very uh, different ways uh, to make a movie and to make a photo uh, but there they have some similarities and I think they express uh, some similar things uh, yeah director in the, in the movie i mean i i'm done i'm not a person really technical uh, it's really difficult for me to remember all the name especially of the director i mean probably in photography it's more easy because i i just uh, you know hear always the names so then mm -hmm. i remember uh depends because yeah for sure uh i don't know for example uh if i have to say a director i i will say uh Rid riddle scott, uh, riddle mm -hmm. scott yeah, no? or uh, um or someone else like uh, i don't know uh spielberg you know but <laughs> yeah. uh but you know names uh, are um are remarkable uh i remember for example for theater peter brook Peter Brook, mm -hmm. yeah, something really in interesting. 
but uh, in general, uh, yeah, it's really difficult for me to, to remember director names. And uh, in photography, yeah, as I said, it's more easy because probably I hear them, I read them uh, usually more. And um, you know what I think is also something uh, I missed in the movie? It's uh, mm -hmm. we don't have anymore the title, uh, so you know, directed by you know in the in the beginning. Uh, yeah. And uh, this, in a way, also I think uh, put uh, the name of the director a bit uh, behind the movie. You know, you remember the movie, but you don't remember the director. And uh, so, if you want to know better the director, you have to really go through that. Uh, and uh, and research by yourself or you have really to wait the the title in the end yeah read that but uh yeah i appreciate a lot of people uh remember the director because it's something i cannot do it <laughs> and i think everything we cannot do it it's uh, it's always really interesting to get in touch with people can do it and uh, uh, so let, let's let's. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, uh, tell me, I don't know, three movie. Just not. I don't. I will never ask you for the favorite movies, but more for three movie touched you. Um, last week I saw a brilliant movie from 1981, I think, uh, directed by Michael Mann, uh, and it's called Thief uh just thief with james khan in head row and it's um it's crazy visual uh art uh, because every frame you got there you wanted to stop and to watch it and every frame it tells the story it's the movie uh, uh, i think like the movie need to be uh, where the uh, not the story tells you a story, but the uh, visualization of its of, of its this story uh, touch you. It's, yeah, it's the with uh, this color a bit green uh, and blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's this uh, landscape of uh, motor sail uh, or yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it, this movie. Yeah it's, yeah, it's it's so fascinating the the color and the direction and the cut uh, and the, especially the, the photography direction. And yeah, it's very great. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, you told me that because it's I never watched this movie. I, I'm just so mm -hmm. now, and uh, and uh, yeah, I will watch this movie absolutely. It's it's, it's really great. Yes, I recommend it for everyone and. For example, I also like, like the works of uh, Sean Bobbitt. It's a director of photography in the movies made by Steve McQueen. Uh, for, uh, everybody knows like, him for 20 years of Slave, uh, who won the Oscars and uh, so on. But for me, I like the first his first movies in uh, uh, he made in the UK. Uh, it was uh, Hunger, uh, about the Irish uh, prisoner, and uh, Shame, which he made already in, uh, in the USA, but uh, he worked with Sean Bobbitt uh, on it, and it's uh, brilliant. Uh, I like the colors, I like the moving of the camera, and... Uh, how it cut it, mm, it's very great. And the third one, mm, I don't know, it's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, this is always yeah, a really um, difficult, you know, uh, question. I mean, if someone yeah. tell me, okay, tell me three movies you like, okay, they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but I have seen now, for example, from Sean Bobbitt, uh, there is a movie. Uh, I really loved them. They watched it many times, and the, and the story is really struggling with uh, with our conception of uh, of what can happen in a life of someone. Is this one old boy uh, that really mm. touched me a lot? I mean, it's really controversial in a way. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the story you can you don't get you know the point until the end. 
Yeah, yeah. Something, and the, in the end, the point, in a way, shocked you. And this is so cool uh, in the story, but also the, the visual is so uh, crazy, you know? It's totally yeah. different from, uh, from others' uh, movie I've watched. So for sure, it's a, it's a movie remain in my, in my mind uh, more than other. Yeah, uh, and uh, for the third one, I uh, want to recall um, films by Wong Kar Wai. Yeah, uh, it's a Hong Kong director. Uh, with uh, I think all his movies are uh, beautiful in its uh, uh, cinematography uh, and. Uh, his uh, cameraman uh, is Christopher Doyle, and he's he's magician. He's magician, I think. Uh, and uh, let let us be three uh, movies <laughs> I recommend. Okay, okay, cool. So uh, now we go on topic, uh, and we now we were in the topic, but of topic, and now we go on the topic. Uh, that's it's you. Uh, I love that the things that you shoot most of the time. I think is your dog, right? And uh, that's the same. With, uh, the, with it, what? It's your dog. That uh, ah, yes, with my dog, yeah. and no? you can. And, and you also can... there, yeah, it's so cool, so funny. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> And, and uh, I like how you integrate uh, your dog inside of your uh, photographic history because it's, uh, it's in a way you are telling about yourself uh, and uh, yeah, uh, someone I want to say to the dog is someone you love. That's, that's really interesting. Uh, and, uh, and I like to see in the picture because in a way it's, it's also a, a really nice character, I want to say. And, yeah, uh, thank you. And, yeah, and then it's very ch challenging because the dog is very fast and it uh, never stops and you, it's a complex challenge to capture it. <laughs> when yeah, it's yeah, yeah, I totally, I totally understand. Not uh, uh, so many times ago I was thinking about, uh, uh, I wanted to get in touch with some dog or cat photographer. I was thinking about uh, if there are, you know, dog photographer. For sure, there are dog photographer in the world. And yeah, of course. I was asking to myself, how will it be to to you know um, having a photo shooting? So providing a photo shooting for client, uh, then they want a picture of them dog. <laughs> and uh, how you call the improve you know that how you call the uh, give them uh, something uh, they never have seen yeah, yeah. and and uh, i think yeah this is something uh, i don't know uh, i i don't have any i mean i have a, just few experience about that for some ex girlfriend that uh, dog but uh, i had the rabbit and mm -hmm. shooting the rabbit uh, every day every day <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was just shooting with him, and it was so cool. And uh, yeah, just some minutes ago, I was watching that pictures, and I did some portrait of him that I uploaded on Unsplash, and they are in the first position. They had the five uh, or six million of download, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hundreds million of uh, view. This this picture of the portrait of uh, this uh, rabbit, no? And <laughs> Great. Now it's is uh almost two years uh, is passed away but um, i think always like okay my my rabbits <laughs> became famous <laughs> in a way you know without <laughs> doing that and yeah that funny so imagine your dog start to be a star on on uh, on the social network no and uh, yeah but i think i i don't want really uh to 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 me um uh how to say um, yeah, with your words <laughs> yeah I, I don't want to do it to, with him because uh i think it's uh, some kind of uh, uh not violence of course an but abuse. an abuse of the images no the, the abuse yes and uh when it uh, comes naturally uh it's great uh when he do what he do and 
I never try to uh, control him while I'm taking a picture of him. Um, but and I, I'm afraid of it. I don't want <laughs> really, <laughs> and I don't want to make yeah, him start. I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally agree with you. I mean, I know my point was never to let him become a star. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just uploading a picture, you know, and now this yeah, yeah, of course. surpassing a thousand of other picture. <laughs> yeah, if it goes uh, <laughs> this way, I, I don't. <laughs> it's okay. So, so let, let's let's talk about uh, your photography. Uh, yeah. So we have seen that. Uh, so the, you, not we, but uh, who go to see your picture for sure. Uh, but I have seen that you are doing a lot of picture from uh, the street, from your life, from your friend, from your dog, uh, and especially I think also uh, about your coffee shop and uh, all uh, what else is uh, inside of this business. And mm -hmm. uh, how much photography help you to communicate with your clients or with your uh, uh, friends or with your uh, with the people are around you? Mm -hmm. Um, first of all, I think uh, the photography for me is uh, exploring myself, first of all, not, not the others. Uh, even, even when I uh, shoot uh, some people around me, um, it's, uh, it's about them, of course, uh, but I, I'm interested to find uh, something I don't know about myself. Uh, and uh, for me, the photography now, it's not about the communication uh, with the world, but it's communication with uh, myself, I think. Uh, but of course, um, when I'm taking pictures of people and uh, Taking pictures of people is the most challenging for me, because uh, for now I I don't really understand how it works and how to capture uh, a person in a way uh, he will admire or I will uh, um, find it lucky, uh, for example. But it's very interesting and uh, I'm developing in it right now and I try to uh, to take shoots of people more often than I did before uh, and it very really helps me uh, to understand myself and to understand others. Yeah, I, I can really feel that uh, uh, that you are for sure. I mean, it's it's for sure uh, uh, you are someone I, I will love to meet, you know, often in the street and uh, yeah. having a coffee together and I smoke my cigarette and having a talk, you know, and uh, I, I think yeah, it's, uh, you are in a, in a step that I was years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I want I, I don't know, I guess. But I tell you what was my step. My step was uh, around 2014. Uh, I had this big dilemma uh, in my life was how I can connect with people shooting photography uh, without influencing the scene, but mm -hmm. I'm staying with these people re really naturally and shooting. Yeah. And was this was my big dilemma. So then I studied a lot uh, uh, in the past, and I did this uh, master class about uh, creator uh, and the long story project. Mm -hmm. And uh, the problem I had was all inside of my mind. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what, <laughs> what I mean that uh, for sure you have to you have to jump out in a way. From yourself and jump in the situation and when you are in this situation uh, to don't influence the situation you have to you know, in a way find uh, uh, also a compromise with your soul so that means probably sometimes you have to use it's preferable to use a, a phone than to use a mm -hmm. reverb 
because the reflex in a way it's it's kind it's kind you know uh there is the, the this uh, connection between uh cameras and uh guns you know mm-hmm. also yeah. the, the, um, the word shoot is is not a, a, a random word and in a way you shoot someone when you shoot someone you take a part of this someone and sometimes this can can be not only influencing but it can be also irritable for someone else don't no? say what the fuck man I'm talking with you shooting a picture of me. So then uh, uh, I think the, the first point is uh, um, to listen, to stay in this, yeah. to stay in the situation as yourself. And then um, if uh, that person or this uh, general person feel comfortable to stay with you normally, they will accept you also as a photographer, not only as a human. Um, when but this uh, for sure require uh, a certain time to to stay with them and to to connect with these people and then to insert also this side of yourself this is uh, not many photographer understanding i'm i'm here in berlin organizing a, a shooting with model and most of the time mm-hmm. I see how uh, people don't connect themselves with the model they don't spend any mm-hmm. any words you know they start and they start like yeah commanding or using yeah, yeah. It's a real abuse i mean in a way it's, it's, it's a real abuse because it's an abuse for the model is an abuse for themselves because the way we and uh, and i appreciate that you you feel that because that's mean uh, uh that uh, you first you don't want to be treated like that yeah, yeah. and then yeah. Uh, you you reserve the same treatment for others uh but in a way yeah uh, in a way also uh, we feel then uh, uh, also we are losing something no when we are treating others in this way really good we are in a way also feeling like wow but it was so fucking cool this scene and i didn't got the picture you know sometimes that that they are we <coughs> feeling yeah there, yeah there is a compromise between this and that without losing uh, that uh, that beautiful scene we had in front of us and it's just uh, uh, a matter of uh, being there so i, I will uh, advise you to just grab your camera hold your camera okay and uh, staying in the scene connect first as a human and then after you, when you feel it and and is everything about an instinct that uh, uh, when you feel that person is in front of you it's comfortable that you have your camera in front uh, without using then you can start to shoot yeah thank you for advice <laughs> I've, I've been i've been called work like that because i had the uh, exactly uh things uh, and um, uh, even uh, when I had uh, uh, some situation, you know, because then uh, people change completely them pose or them behavior when you mm. take the camera and they change completely or they pose, they, they, you know, they do it something to be in front of the camera. But I think uh, this is the point. You don't want that. You want to catch <laughs> the natural <laughs> part. So I think, uh, yeah, especially in the, in the work, especially in the, in the coffee work, uh, uh, you can catch really moment uh, unique, and uh, I will uh, continue to advise you that to to try to find that because uh, uh, I work it for uh, I, I also now but uh, um, remotely, but I work for this uh, bar of a friend mm-hmm. for almost ten years uh and as a photographer and you know uh, the nice things is uh, that every client they knows me and then they allowed me to take pictures so it was like i was not there you know there was a <laughs> where else i wanted to do it so if, mm-hmm. for them it was not strange if i was you know uh, taking picture doing they was doing the aperitif for about the glasses uh, the shadow everything they was not really caring anymore about me <laughs> and, and and i think this is the level uh, in a way you have to, to yeah learn. To stay in your coffee shop uh, and uh, and probably this can be also a way to remarketing yourself in a different way from others because not everyone has uh, 
a photographer is 24 hours, you know, I say 24 hours, but full time inside mm-hmm. the coffee shop. And this yeah, okay. catch, you know, in a way like uh, this uh, more than uh, to go to take coffee is, uh, I mean, in this case, I'm talking as a marketer, but uh, I think the best point is uh, the client is not anymore a client, uh, but is a part of the story of this business. That's mean uh, it's a friend, it's uh, uh, someone make the place. Yeah, of course. The value for a client is uh, 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 really elevated because then uh, uh, this client will choose always you than another coffee shop. And as you know, uh, when a client chooses always you in a way or another, it's, uh, it's um, also nice to have this person that in any case would advise or would invite someone else to come to you. Yeah, thank you for advices, and I, it's really, it's really touching. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a, you're yeah. welcome. So, uh, Andre, uh, was really nice to to talk with you. I hope to to have other 50 minutes <laughs> that are not <laughs> yeah uh, of experience with you in the in the near future. I, I I'm I will love to know if you tried uh, uh, some technique to to try to get better in touch with the photography and uh, to compose something new. And yeah, I would love really to know if uh, this will work for you. So then yeah, uh, thank you to have uh, a, a talk in the next two, three months and see what is the result of that. Yeah, yeah, I, I will. I will try. <laughs> so thank you a lot for your time. And if uh, anyone wants to see the work of Andre, it's uh, always link in the description. If you wanna uh, join in this conversation and say your about what we talked about today, uh, you can uh, uh, send a voice message using uh, the last link in the description. And for anything else, we are here. So thank you again. Uh, yeah, thank you. What is das Vidania? Das Vidania. No. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> Thanks for listening to our podcast. Learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash Berlin Explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer project.